Was Jesus Christ crucified? When the children of Israel went astray from the path of God, Allah the Glorious sent them their final prophet, Jesus, peace be upon him, as a wake-up call and the last warning to fulfill God's commandments. When Jesus Christ continued to preach God's message, commanding them to do certain things and avoid unlawful acts, they felt frustrated, rejected, and plotted against him instead of believing and following him. According to the New Testament, a group of hypocritical and self-serving men of the children of Israel plotted to destroy the prophet Jesus, peace be upon him. People from the children of Israel complained to the Roman authorities, who were pagan idol worshippers, and had political power at the time because the children of Israel were only a minority. The children of Israel complained that the prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, was preaching something new. They provoked the Romans to rise against him, leading the Roman governor to believe that the call of Jesus Christ conveyed direct threats against Roman power. Jesus Christ was not going to benefit the children of Israel in a political scheme of things, nor would he have brought them any material benefit, the only thing that concerned them. Jesus Christ called them to the purity of theology and encouraged them to uphold the law. The children of Israel have killed messengers of God in the past, but if they had killed Jesus Christ themselves, they would have gotten rid of the messenger, not the message. The children of Israel wanted to get rid of this messenger, Jesus Christ, and the message. The children of Israel wanted Jesus Christ crucified to discredit him, because according to the law of Moses, in Deuteronomy chapter 21, verse 23, if you crucify someone, they would be cursed by God, indicating to the people that Jesus Christ was not a messenger of God, as how can his messenger be cursed? Modern Jews do not believe Jesus Christ was a messenger of God, and one of their pieces of evidence is his crucifixion. The children of Israel claimed that Jesus Christ was an agitator, speaking against the emperor, which was not true. The Roman governor ordered that the prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, be arrested, then crucified by hanging on a cross and starving, a common form of shame killing. According to the Christian narrative, which Muslims do not believe, the Roman authorities found Jesus Christ, arrested him, then put him on the Roman cross where he died. They eventually buried him, only to see him resurrected and returned from the dead. He announced to everyone that he was the Son of God. However, according to the Holy Quran, God states, And for their saying, in boast, Indeed, we have killed the Messiah, Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Messenger of Allah. And they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him, but another was made to resemble him to them. And indeed, those who differ over it are in doubt about it. They have no knowledge of it except the following of assumption. And they did not kill him for certain. Rather, Allah raised him to himself. And ever is Allah exalted in might and wise. Quran, chapter 4, verses 157 and 158. God placed a likeness of the prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, on another person to make it appear as if that person was Jesus, peace be upon him. So, according to the Holy Quran, the children of Israel boasted that they had killed Jesus, the son of Mary. However, they neither killed nor crucified him. It was only made to appear that Jesus Christ had been crucified. In the Holy Quran, God says that those who disagree about what happened are full of doubt, have no certainty, and only assume that they know the truth. For certain, says Allah, they did not kill Jesus, the son of Mary. Even the eyewitnesses to the crucifixion did not know what had happened. The only one that knew the truth was God the Almighty. The claim that Jesus Christ was crucified is strictly hearsay, and none of the disciples ever claim they witnessed the act. 
According to the Bible, the disciples fled at the time of the act as they feared being crucified. Then all his disciples deserted him and ran away. Mark chapter 14 verse 50. Matthew chapter 27 verse 46 quotes Jesus Christ as crying out and begging his Lord beforehand. About the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? As Christians claim, does this sound like a person who wanted or volunteered to be crucified? This sounds like someone who would rather be somewhere else. Is there justice in punishing A for what B did? God rescued his prophet by raising Jesus Christ's soul and body up to the heavens. The Israelites and the Roman authorities never could harm, crucify, nor kill him. This version of events was only an assumption. According to some Islamic historians, God punished Judas, the traitor, by casting him to resemble the prophet Jesus, peace be upon him. Thus, they crucified him instead, assuming their target was Jesus Christ. Some Islamic historians state that one of the disciples volunteered to take Jesus Christ's place on the cross to save him, and in return, he asked to be joined with Jesus Christ in paradise. But we do not know for sure, as God did not share this portion of the story in detail. Christians believe Jesus Christ was crucified and died for their sins and soon returned from the dead. If Jesus Christ died on the cross as a man, it would not mean anything since the death of a person is insignificant and cannot save anyone. If Jesus Christ died on the cross as a god or son of God, this would render the act impossible because by definition, God is ever living and cannot die. Muslims believe that Jesus Christ never died, and instead God raised his body and soul to the heavens to rescue his messenger. God did not allow his messenger to be shamefully crucified. And the disbelievers planned, but Allah planned, and Allah is the best of planners. Quran chapter 3 verse 54 not only does the Holy Quran state that Jesus Christ was not crucified, but the Bible indicates it too. According to the New Testament, Jesus Christ's disciples were weeping at the thought of their messenger being crucified. They started to doubt his prophethood, as he had told them he would live until the end of time. Both Muslims and Christians believe that Jesus Christ will return at the end of time to guide humanity to God and kill the Antichrist. According to the New Testament, when Jesus Christ arrived, his followers were terrified at the reappearance of a man they thought had been crucified. But as stated earlier, God saved his prophet from the cross. The prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, said to his disciples that he was not crucified and had been rescued by God. He tried to prove that he never died by stating, Look at my hands and my feet. It is I, myself. Touch me and see. A ghost does not have flesh and bones as you see I have. Luke chapter 24 verse 39. Jesus told his disciples that he was never crucified or dead and proved it by asking how a dead person can have flesh and bones. Why do Christians believe he was crucified when the Bible states that he told his companions to look at his hands and feet? He also ate before his disciples to prove his life. Jesus Christ asked for food that he could eat before them like a human being would, not a spirit or ghost. After proving his existence, he told his disciples that God had willed him to leave and that they should preach and teach his message and be faithful to God in his absence. He promised them that another would come after him. Whereas Christians believe that the prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, referred to the Holy Spirit in this statement, these words referenced Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, which we will prove in another chapter. After the departure of Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, controversies sparked amongst his followers. 
a severe split erupted in the Christian faith, revealing a broad spectrum of opinions regarding the prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, and his role in the world. Despite what Christians think, Jesus Christ never died on the cross, nor did he want to. If Jesus Christ wished to sacrifice his life for humanity, as Christians believe, he would not have begged God to save him, as stated in the Bible. About three in the afternoon, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lema sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Matthew chapter 27, verse 46. A similar verse also appears in Mark chapter 15, verse 33. Does this sound like a person that wanted or volunteered to be crucified? Of course not. In addition, Deuteronomy chapter 21, verse 23 states that anyone hung on a pole is under God's curse. So, does that mean God cursed Jesus Christ? You must not leave the body hanging on the pole overnight. Be sure to bury it that same day because anyone who is hung on a pole is under God's curse.